So here we have a small setup with a couple of different scenes and cues. And I can activate them individually by pressing the small play icon in their left corner. You can also launch a whole column by clicking on a column number. And notice that if you have a scene in the same column where you have cues, the scene is what will be outputted. Since it contains all of MadMapper's parameters, it will override anything underneath it. And also, if you have, for example, a queue with color parameters stored on top of another queue that also has color stored, the top queue's colors is what will be outputted. But, so as long as you have queues on top of each other without conflicting parameters, they will all be activated at the same time. And, if you want to automate your project to play columns one after another, you can simply press the play button in the middle of the toolbar. And then head over to the cogwheel next to it, and here you have the playback options. First off, there are three different options that will determine when the next column will be activated. Either set a timer here with your desired amount of seconds, or if you want it to sync to a beat, you can set the duration in beats. And this last option can be combined with either of the other two options. So if I have a movie clip in any of my scenes or cues, shaking this box will allow the movie file to play from start to finish before switching to the next column, regardless of how many seconds or beats I've set up here. And down here, you can set our autoplay to loop columns from left to right, or to play from left to right once, and then stop at the last column. Or you can also play columns at random. And finally, you can also manually play the next column by pressing the next column trigger to the left of the autoplay button.